Hello everybody and welcome to a new game. Today I will be playing some Neo 2. I have played this game before. I have like I want to say 30 hours in it only. I really enjoy it is something I can say. And right now I just finished my character creation. As you can see, I have one yellow golden eye and then one blue eye. That's because I am planning on using one water guardian spirit and one lightning guardian spirit. My yokai forms. Brute has those horns because they remind me more of a bull, which is more of a strength focused thing I can think of. This one has a single horn, like a unicorn, because that, that's the best thing I could think of for feral. And this one has, like, those coral-looking dragon horns. Phantom's probably going to be the one I'm going to be using quite a bit. But yeah, let's get to it. I just have to turn my, like, volume off. I am back. Just had to change the setting. As a note, I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm going to be pretty rusty with it, I think. I already know what type of build I'm going to go for. No? Don't go back to character creation. Let's see. I already know which two weapons I'm starting with. Not the Odachi. Switchglaive. And Kusarigama. I was just making sure you actually got that down. I'm going to rely mostly on Onmyo Magic and Ninjutsu. And close range I'm basically going to rely on very fast attacks. So I'm going to be probably focusing on low. Okay. Got those controls. Proceed to Guardian Spirit selection. Kagawane. Ame no Hitori 
and Makami, I believe. I'm gonna go with Kagawana. Sec, I'm gonna oh oh I pressed the wrong buttons that's why it ended I was trying to see what this guy's thing was and the reason I'm going with Kagawane is for one he gives bonus magic at the start plus I like this so if somebody's coming at me and then the phantom's attacking I like being able to do this. Now, on my first playthrough, I went full brute, like Odachi Makami. Leave this place. So my starting stats are everything is 5 except for magic at 7 and dex at 6. Seems decent. For a ninja... Mage. Only problem is I'm not gonna be able to get good until I can get like the fire, sh like the shot talismans. Oh yeah, this is where the Gaki attack, isn't it? Just the Gaki. The blue glow fits my character so much, actually. Considering I'm going with the whole water based guardian spirits for the most part. Water Phantom would be the perfect ones. Which I believe the best guardian spirit, the one I was looking at, was Genbu. You acquired a divine branch rank. Yeah. Yeah. Kaga wanna. Okay. Now the hardest part with this game is getting the first point of Onmyo. The moment you get the first point, you can start doing stuff. For instance, I'm going to start with the water talisman. Which I can't get the shot talismans for the first run. So, water, lightning, and fire talismans. Whoa, shiftlings stay through playthroughs, or is that just... 
Oh, this is just the starting thing. Otherwise, I'd also have up to here. Okay. Ninja, I'm probably going to go with the bombs to start off. But yeah, let's get to it. Unless the dojo has a mission for me. Nah, it doesn't have a good one. Let's go do it. Yeah, this is the... The first mission here actually stalled me for a while in my first playthrough. It took me like three hours to beat it. So like 10% of my playthrough was in this mission. Pray. Yep, level up has been unlocked. Use Emery to, to upgrade your stats. I'm trying to remember when I can get the. Oh, wait, skill points are gained that way in this game. I almost forgot. I'll still keep doing it because it increases the damage of my switch axe. I'm not going to be doing that. Boons. Million Demon. I don't have anything to offer. Head armor, million demon, lone wolf. I like using this armor just because of the look of it. I think that might be a bit too much weight for me actually looking at it. Yeah, that's too much weight. Let's see, I could lower this. Shoulder strap, bomb region. Wait, do I have a second one? No, I don't. Okay. Let's just. Yeah, I'll keep this for now. Wait, did I get it? Oh yeah, I have to unlock titles before I can actually learn any of them. And... First Gaki. Oh, I should switch to my Switch Axe. I have to make sure not to go too far this way because there is that guy. Which he would destroy me right now. You can just run past this guy though. So unless you want to like challenge yourself not too hard. I'm just doing this so I can unlock. Which I actually might try to beat that guy before I finish this run. Because if I remember correctly, I think he might be weak to water. Hmm. 
We'll see. Still trying to get used to the game again. Let's see, I remember seeing... Yeah, there you are. Go to shrine. Don't have enough knowledge to understand you right now. Yeah, this guy is tough. But he is a fun guy to face, actually. I don't know why, but I find that guy, those two, a really nice fight. Yeah, and you have to use key pulses a lot. Like, if you don't use key pulses in this game, you're just gonna fail. It's telling me to do the key pulse. Let's see, is that iron switch glaive I just picked up better than the one I already have? Uh, damage bonus. Actually, really good. Damage bonus, Amarita Gauge, C+. Let's see, Dodge Beacon. I'll wear these. Yeah, you really can't have much weight in this game, though. Unless you actually put a lot of points into it. Oh yeah, this is Enki. First challenge, if I remember correctly. I forgot this guy is actually a decent challenge. I'm so used to just killing these guys by the dozen. Last elixir. And it's dead. And first soul core. I like using Enki's soul core. It's a decent ability. At least early on. Okay, I got some... The only problem with using the low stance is it doesn't do as much damage. Advantage of it is though it doesn't use much key. Which... I'm gonna see if I'm gonna actually put points into key or not. Probably gonna put a few more into magic though. Because magic is going to be like my bread and butter for the most part. Code of my blessing. Uh, samurai skill point. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot the requirement goes up quickly in this game. Okay, first skill point, 
make offering. Here you go. I'm not going to need this. Basically just, whenever you get a chance in this game, offer as much as you can. Auto purchase can be enabled for certain items. Caltrops. Okay, nothing I actually want. And another level up, more magic. Probably gonna put some points into life soon. Or not life, uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, I never did actually rest at the thing before. That's why this guy didn't respawn. So I have two small spirit stones, which are going to be useful for the boss. Heirloom helmet, which I can't use. Attack. Not going to use it. Can't use it because it requires more stamina than I have. The dash key consumption. Oh, it's only one in critical health. I hate the ones in this. Oh, I forgot I tuned Soul Core. Knew I was forgetting something. Soul Core. I actually missed. And that doesn't do much damage right now. Still an interesting ability to have. It's more about dealing key damage than anything with that attack. And I actually forgot to use my Samurai skill point too. Let's see, Key Pulse Man, Mid Stance Only, Earth, Key, uh, Negates can ski. Okay. So I will now automatically trigger Key Pulse. Okay. Let's go for it. Actually, see, trying to remember what this is. So, if I wanted to use ranged attacks, it'd be up here. But I don't need them. There. At least the Anki stays dead. Anki are only annoying early on. Oh, I got another skill point for Switch Glaive. Let's see, low attack Switch Glaive is. A at end of combo. This is... Yeah, let's do a transient blade. It's the starting for the low combo anyways. And it jumps me back actually good. It's like it automatically prepares me for the next section.
Oh, that guy has an axe. Too bad he can't. And he's dead. And just mow this guy down. I like just being able to just twirl my thing and slowly take them down. Although my switch or switch glaive, I've played too much Monster Hunter. I keep on calling it the switch axe. Better for people who are blocking is their A attack. Let's see it is Gord. Okay, that's what I not what I need. This is what I need. Gord is Amorite to earn projectile damage and fire resistance. Oh I actually am getting already like a 5% Amarine to boost. Good to have this early on. Level up. Question is, should I keep leveling my magic at this point or should I start putting stuff into like heart? Because I have things like heart, constitution, which would give me more health. So I'll just keep going with magic. Or... Mm, I'll go with one... No, actually, early on I have to go with magic. Magic is going to be my bread and butter. I need to get it up good enough. And that guy just went face first into the water. Oh yeah, these are the archer assholes. I hate the archers in this area. Like, they don't need to be this annoying. Now die. I'm gonna go up this way first. Can I open this? Up door locked. Oh yeah, if I kill, I think that's Mezuki. It'll open this place up. Just gonna go up here first and open sh this way. Yeah, this is basically the really good shortcut if you can kill Mezuki this early on. Just gonna go up here and try to find out if I can't reach an archer. Yeah, I can get this guy. Now, are there any more archers up here? Oh, longbow. Yeah, early on you get skills really quickly. Uh, see, damage boost magic. I'm gonna want that. Maybe not right now, but I am gonna want that. Now I have to figure out a way to kill these guys down there. 
which oop, I missed. I wasn't trying to hit that guy in the leg. I was. I'll just kill him as he comes up. Basically, ladder cheesing. Now this guy I don't want to miss, so I'm gonna get even closer, like right above him, right here. You know how I said I didn't want to miss that? Now die. And he's dead. Nope, not quite. Now he's dead. Now I know there's somebody around here still. Okay, that's some more arrows, some sacred arrows, which good against some yokai. Not that I'm going to be using the ranged weapon against yokai right now. Harakiri sword. So, yeah, that sword is basically just kills you. Can't believe I let this guy hit me. I'm also not going to get the Gozuki Crusher achievement. Oh, I'm trying to remember, but I think it's the reason why I'm not able to get titles right now. Is you have to finish the first area first, and then they all just kind of unlock. That's a good thing about bows early on. Also, I'm realizing I'm not actually using the Kusarigami right now. Black Band Boo, which is high attack damage, melee key consumption. Yeah, I wasn't even using it. Let's see, what do you have? Travel Amulet. Actually, one of those is something I might actually want. Oh, it's Anima. I don't need Anima right now. Like, literally, I only have one thing, and it doesn't even do much damage. Anima Recovery I could probably make do with. I'm just going to try to get them across the bridge again. Let's see, how long can I keep baiting these guys around? Yeah, I'm now remembering. First playthrough, this thing was really difficult for me. Because I didn't get the controls too well. But now I'm just, like, tearing them apart. Okay. 
Okay, and up here there's gonna be an archer. Can't believe I let that guy hit me twice. And now you go down too. I really need a quick, like, I'm wondering if Kagawana has a health recovery effect. Oh yeah, there's the quick select too, which I just found out, like, a day ago that you can quick select multiple times if you put it in the settings. Okay. Oh! Kodama. Small spirit stone. What's going to be in the house? Should I just run and open the gate? Yeah. That worked. Or not, actually. Gonna have to kill that. I hate Anki. Er. Yoki. Now die. I keep on forgetting that you can't like attack while like blocking. And he's dead. I don't know why I keep on forgetting about that. Yeah, I think the thing was, my first playthrough, I was just really sketched out because these guys looked intimidating. Much more than they actually are. So, like, I was just being so cautious that it was actually causing me to die quicker. Let's see, I'm trying to see if there's another Kodama up here. No, I don't see a Kodama. Oh, this is one of the ways you could have just traveled over. If I remember correctly, though, there's a Kodama over here. Which, gathering them is actually decently important. But damn, I've already been going for 40 minutes and I haven't even seen the first boss. Okay, more spirit stones. Spirit stones in this game are way different from like souls and runes and like Elden Ring and uh, Dark Souls. Because you don't pop them just because you want to level up a bit quicker. You only pop them in combat. 12 magic. Let's see, what blessings do I have? What is the code of my blessing again? Okay, code of my blessing. Yamabushi. No, I don't need Yamabushi right now. 
make an offering. Actually, this is a unassigned quip. Uh, equipment bonus, bow key damage. Yeah, the bow damage is actually better. Ichigatana. Low attack, key consumption, and break. Equip. Make offering. Oh, yeah, I could also offer this stuff that I don't need. Go to a bazaar. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to. I'm hoping I, there's a place up here that will actually drop some talismans. Okay, another skill point for proficiency with skill with Switchglaive. See what are you gonna get? Rosewood Tonfa. Chivalrous Yokinosuke. I'll call on a revenant. Oh, he does a lot of damage. But he dies pretty easy. And that's all he had. Okay. Oh, I forgot about that guy. That guy's a bitch. Okay, bullseye, I can do it. Now come on. Now take this. And dead. Now there should be an oop, Kodama. Go to the shrine. I'm just trying to remember how good Switchglaive is at defeating the Mezuki or Gozuki, whatever the horse guy is. Because it doesn't matter how good I am if I can't beat him. And uh, I don't think there's anything else up here. So let's go. Oh yeah, I have to clear the Dark Realm. I hate the Dark Realm. Come on. And now I kill it. I believe you get more anima in the Dark Realm. See what can I shortcut? I'll use stone just for tossing. Cause I need to aggro them one at a time. Cause if I don't aggro these guys one at a time, they're gonna wreck me. 
Come on. And now I wreck him. Okay, first off, I'm also gonna skill. Now I can attack while guarding. That's perfect. Here's a rock. Come on. Come up. Now you're just gonna die here. And I got another elixir. Which elixirs are never a bad thing. Never complain about getting too many elixirs. Oh, so I need to get the Anki out. Oh, can I not use my... He went right back to it. Here, Anki. Meet Anki. Oh, I keep on forgetting to guard. Let's try this. Totally unnecessary, but I wanted to try it out. And I'm good. This is going to be the key. Yep, it was the key. Now open it. Summoner's candle, lantern plant fruit. Okay. Nothing that's actually too good right there. Now I pray. I need a bit more to level up. Boon. Oop, that's not what I needed. I thought that was the boons. Hunter Blessing. No, I want the Healer Blessing. Gunpowder Bomb. I believe I might actually be able to use this to level Ninjutsu. I'm going to check. Because I believe you have to use them in order to actually be able to learn them. Is what the problem was. So, I believe the way to get initiated is you just have to buy them and then try them out. That's why it's actually a bit of a problem as a magic build to start. Okay. I missed. Yeah, I'll just straight up murder him with that. Come on. I almost got myself killed trying to test out the bombs. Yeah, I really need to get 
like actual skill. I just murder, murder, murder. And get all that nice Amarita. Which Amarita, in case anybody's wondering, is the name of basically the currency. It's like the runes or the souls. Has a lot of lore implications, but in game it basically just spend this to level up. I want to make some offerings after leveling up. Make an offering because I need that sweet sweet rice. Palisade Breaker, don't need it. A Life Drain Melee Attack, might keep that. It's decent at least to start. And now I'm gonna go through my different things here and... Equip. Make Offering. A lot of stuff is just going to become offerings, basically. Thief's Curious. Equip. Lone Wolf, which gives me Untouched Ninjutsu, which is actually not important right now. Equip. Lone Wolf. Wait, Amrita plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.8. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of calculation right now in my head. Trying to decide what's actually worth it to offer. Equip. Plus I'm getting a lot of Amarita from this. Let's see, Prayer Beach, Damage Taken versus Yokai. Speeds up the uses of Spirit Stones and gives me extra key. Less projectile damage, more fire resistance, which... I think the Prayer Beads might actually be more effective than the Gourd. But I'll keep it for now. Go to my bazaar. Okay, I kind of want to pay 10 divine rice to switch it. There. Now I'm going to see if using that is going to be enough to actually get me to unlock it. Because, yeah, as a ninjutsu slash own meal build, you kind of need to be able to use that before you can take on good bosses. Because the switch act is, or the switch glaive isn't going to be like my main. Oh my gosh. That's the problem with freaking being squishy. Just die. And die. Give me my Omeo magic. Oh, I ran out. So.
so I'm going to have to apply it again and hope that this one is enough. I don't think it is going to be enough, but we'll see. I have two more I could use. Let's see. Need to go find some more people to kill. I also like how you can actually see how, what skill points you have. Because, like, the sword shows my samurai skill points versus the little ninja star is the ninjutsu skill points. Max familiarity. Okay, run quickly back. Still don't have enough freaking skill points. Come on. I'm also trying to do this, which is causing me to almost die repeatedly. Come on, give me my own meal skill point. I think I have to use it like. Yeah, I'm going to have to purchase some more, I think. Learn skills. Samurai skill point, which I'm going to unlock. Rushing water, earth. And ninja. I'm trying to decide between... Yeah, I'm going to go with gunpowder bombs. Let's see, Kodama Bazaar. Let's see, do I have anything I can even offer right now? No, I've actually. Can't offer anymore, right? Oop. Not I can offer. And hopefully this is enough. I think it just requires me to do a certain amount of damage using the... Oh, I almost died. Now die. And, come on. I have to be pretty close to the skill point by now, I would expect. I'm pretty sure there's a way to check how close you are. Well, I can't believe I actually ran out of stamina against the Gaki. Yeah, I'm especially burning the Divine Rice in order to hopefully hopefully learn the on meal magic come on I'm now remembering how difficult this was the first playthrough because it refused to actually spawn in and let me actually 
use it. Oop, I almost fell in the water there. Yeah. This is a pain in the ass, I'm remembering. Make offering. Let's see, do I have any new things? Kodama Bazaar. One more. And skills, how close am I to on you? Does it not show? Various kind of information. Yeah, it's it's a bit annoying. Now just give me the skill point. I'm almost at the point where I won't be able to get the skill point. Oh, I got for proficiency with the skill glaive. Really? I got the skill glaive switch point before I got the magic skill point. So I can't proceed any further down this way. Uh, trying to see if there's anything that I'm going to want later on. Let's go with this one. Fall from another track by switching this one. Down. Yeah, I actually have to go farm the enemy in order to get more rice. Because like I said, I'm not starting the boss until I can actually do my build. That guy's easy to kill, though. Now die. And... Dead. So brutal. The thing that's actually quite interesting is that considering that the Omnio Magic Talismans scale with your stats like the more magic you have or like the more omnio magic power you have the better the talismans do but then switch glaive also skills with magic so this you're essentially getting double scaling almost or at least magic is doing both of them good What happened to the guy over here? Oh, I killed him. I haven't rested at the shrine yet. Okay. I'm gonna just look at my guardian spirit for a second. Stronger attack, key damage needs magic. Oh, it has life drain when I hit with uh, yokai ability. 
I didn't realize that. And anima bonus when I ranged hit. Wait, it's skill it needs, I think. Yeah, skill plus strength. But I'm just going to keep doing magic. Like, my magic is going to be freaking... Like, max before I even... Get... Okay. Like, I'm going to have my magic at 15 before I even can learn magic. It's weird. Make offering, give me the rice. You know what? I don't need you. Let's see... Kodama Bazaar. One more. Let's see, the blessing that I have right now is Elixir Drop. Which is what I need right now ish. Shortcut, I'm gonna be putting Ega Gunpowder Bombs. Give me this. Okay, good, I got the skill point. And he's dead. That's good. Learn skills. On me on magic. Now I'm actually going to look this up because I'm going to take whatever talisman the boss is weak to. Let's see, it's meds. I believe is the one I need to kill. It's weak to fire. What about the Gozuki? I'll try killing the Gozuki first. Gozuki's weak to water, so let's go get the Gozuki. And then I'll probably unlock another skill point and use it then. Ready Jutsu. I can ready all of them. Now equipment. That's not what I wanted. Oh, I accidentally pressed over one too far. Okay, now it's time to go for the Gozuki. What was the Mezuki? I already forgot again. Let's see, I need to go up. You're gonna come all the way over here for this. If that guy wouldn't have followed, he would have been able to live. Sucks to be him, I guess. First off, I'm gonna go to the shrine over there. Because I want to actually have a shrine nearby. Now 
Now die. And it's dead. It's because I just kind of want to kill it. To just prove I'm actually okay at this game. So the first time I killed this guy in my other playthrough, I was already much beyond at this level. So I have Ega style bombs. My water tiles. Wait, is there Lily? Does this Lily open? Okay. Ow, that hurts. I forgot how much this guy freaking just hurts. Yeah, I know I'm not required to engage a battle with every enemy. I want to engage in battle with this enemy. Backing up again. I always get that attack's distance wrong. And this guy is much easier than the other guy. And equip this. Oh, he did a double run. Oh, so I can dodge that using Enki. I didn't realize that if you used Enki at the right time, you would just dodge it. I guess that makes sense. You go above the target. Okay. So I proved myself better than that guy. Sadly, I don't think he respawns. I'm just landmarking myself back here. And the thing I really like about Neo is no, no matter what you're leveling up, you're getting more health. But the fact that I'm already level, like, 9. I'm not sure if that's too high or too low. But I want to unlock the Fire Talisman. Just because water's going to do nothing against this next boss. Although I guess that wasn't a boss, that was just a mini boss. I'm stuck in a corner. The good old stuck in a corner game. Glad to see you're in this game too. I'm 
die. I think I'm going to need to farm elixirs before I do the first boss too. Because I do not want to run out of elixirs and die because of that. Like if I die because I'm just bad at the game, that's fine. But dying from lack of just healing because I was too lazy to just collect it. And... die. The only problem is it's hard to level up on Real Magic at the early game. Just because what you need to level it up is to use it repeatedly. Let's see, smoke bomb. I could just make it so I can carry more. Yep, that's good. Ready Jutsu. Now I can carry two more of them. So five Ega style bombs instead of the three I was originally using. I forgot if we can use this. Actually, oh. die. I'm actually wondering whether that goat guy respawns or bull guy. And now you die. Yeah, I should have actually went with fire, I guess, even if that other guy is resistant to it. Even if the other guy is resistant to it, at least the main boss of this area wouldn't be. Okay, that's some of those. Still nothing I actually need. Yeah, I'm gonna need to just freaking... S Wait, there's a Sudama over there, I think. I always forget about the Sudama. I'm just gonna see if I have a new blessing. Okay, elixir drop rate plus 10%. Which is good, actually, for what I'm trying to do right now. Oh, is that another elixir? Actually, if that bush always drops an elixir, I could literally just kill that bush repeatedly. This isn't what I thought it was. Don't see the Sudama I was hoping for. I did forget a loot over here though. And confirmed it doesn't respawn. That's sad. If it respawned, I would just repeatedly farm it though, I guess. So. I'd probably farm until I could get its freaking... And dead. I'm getting lots of arrows, which... 
I don't think I'm actually going to be using any of those arrows. At least not in the boss fight. I don't have a chance to get far enough away to use them. But yeah, Water Blessing is probably going to be what I'm going to have to deal with. see spirit stones I have six small one large I have three lantern plants how am I gonna get through this actually I should probably go to the next shrine over because that shrine is close to the actual boss which I should probably get to because I've been going for like an hour and a half and still haven't got to the boss Kill that guy. Reapply the buff. The guy behind me aggroed. Just kill all of them. Let's see, elixir, elixir. Lightning Omomori. Hopefully that actually will do something for me. Oh yeah, I haven't actually opened the gate yet, have I? For some reason I just keep on expecting right after that gate to be where the boss is. Yeah, the added damage is quite lackluster, too. Go to the shrine, Kodama. Yeah, I want to level up once more. Kodama Blessing, Samurai Blessing, which is equipment drop rate, which I don't need equipment. Actually, let's see what equipment I do have. Uh, 120 damage. Regulars hat, which 14. Lightning Omemori is lightning resistance, key, and damage taken versus yokai. One percent less damage won't make much of a difference, I think. The twenty-seven keys probably good. Okay, I'll switch over for now. I forgot to actually use this. I'm also wondering whether this gets points based on uses or damage dealt. And after I level up, I'm going to start up against the boss. Or I could wait until I have my gauge actually completely full. Like my uh, Guardian Spirit Gauge. Probably a good idea to fill it up before I do anything. I'm going to do Risky and not heal. More proficiency with Switchglaive. Okay. Try 
trying to get that one more like level of Onmyo magic. Just so I could grab the fire talisman too. Because I need the fire talisman if I'm going to use any like magic against this boss. There it is. Now it's just leveling up, I guess. And actually, I'm going to call somebody in for this boss. Kill the weaker one first. Always kill the weaker ones first. Because you're more likely to die to the weaker ones than the big ones in this game. Just because they're going to freaking surround you. And... Die. Yeah, I love the Switchclave just because it's like... Okay, I didn't do the attack pattern I was trying to go for that time. Weird. I'm actually not gaining as much Amorita as I was expecting. Hmm. Learn skills. Omeo magic. Fire talisman. Yeah, can't use the shot talismans for a while yet. Awakening is like the ultimate skill, which takes a long time to learn Awakening. Let's see, focused retribution. I'm just going to keep this point, honestly. There's nothing I want to learn from it yet. I don't know what I was going to do. Items. Break the big spirit stone. I almost forgot to ready the actual fire talisman. I am an idiot. That's not it. So apparently all I'm going to be doing today is trying to beat the first boss. So switch that for fire. Arguably a much better status effect too. Doesn't help that I do so little freaking damage. Like my damage is honestly pathetic. It's because it's not meant to be like the main source of damage. Because if you're doing, if you notice, I'm doing like tens and twelves with the actual Onmyo talisman. But then my Switchclave itself is doing in the hundreds. So it's like one percent damage increase. Well, I say 1%, but more like 10%. Almost have enough for a level up. I also could probably just farm the Gaki at this point. Because I only need to kill him like once or twice more. Because I need 33 XP. Oh, never mind. I have enough. Magic or... Let's see, this would increase... My stats across the board. This would give me just a lot of health. 
and skill would give all of my different weapons more attack and increase ninjutsu power. Uh, which one increases how much I can carry? Equipment max and some health. Yeah, that can wait. But so can this. Hard question. Mm, let's go with some skill for now, I guess. Because I'm trying to activate the skill on this guy, which is strong attack, key damage. Uh, I am going to try to get connect to the online servers to get somebody to see if there's anybody outside this door. Might take a while. Also, stream's starting to lag right now. So I think that might have been a bad idea. Oops. But yeah, I really like this game. It's just... Apparently, I am... Just really slow at this. Basically, now the idea is I keep on loading this until there's a grave I could summon. Oh, I've dropped a lot of frames. Do I have to load it in first? There's a person right here. Let's see, I need to find the best person to summon. Let's see, this guy has that, but he's not wearing a shirt. Now I'm going to use a small spear crystal. Yep, end spirit mode, or photo mode, small spirit crystals, now let's go. Into the battle I go. I probably will be ending the stream after I beat this guy though. Here it is. Gozuki. An ugly looking guy. Its skill is great though. Oh yeah, this is where it teaches you burst counters.
just go all out right from the start. Pop a spirit crystal. Grab this. Oh, I was really far out of range when I was trying to throw those. And burst counter. One of my favorite special effects. And he's dead. I apologize for the bit of stream delay I'm getting. Yeah, the stream delay is making this much less cinematic, I think. spirit crystals uh, this guy So yeah, I'll probably only be playing online for boss fights because of this. Mezuki core. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be ending the stream after I do a few things in the Between Worlds. Oh yeah, this guy was the guy who sent the letter. I like how in this game you don't get to name your characters at all. Characters' names aren't something you get to decide. I don't think I watched this cutscene before. I actually haven't watched this cutscene and I actually like it. That makes me feel a lot different about the rest of the game. Just... That single cutscene actually changes quite a bit of what I was thinking. But yeah, I don't like talking too much during cutscenes because I like people to just watch them. I also like how it's a canon thing about how our character doesn't speak much. Yeah, 
that's like the perfect place to end it. But yeah, I'm probably going to be doing this every Monday from now on. I'll still be doing Elden Ring and whatnot, but Elden Ring is just going to be moved to Thursdays. Seems like the... And it's not just me now that's falling around. Arianani. Red Spider Lily, some weather patches, sick arrows. Soul cores were purified. Anima bonus purification at Marita Gauge Charge plus 4%. That's actually decent. A tune. Okay. Kagawari has Mezuki and Enki, which really aren't the ones I should be equipping on this guy. I should be attuning Phantom cores. Because Phantoms, I think, get a bonus on a Phantom. So he's essentially hiring us as a bodyguard. Yep. I will, of course. Next time. Unless this is just sending me right into the cutscene. No. Okay. But yeah. I'll do the stuff at my starting point off screen. But yeah. Thanks for coming to the stream. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked the, the look of this game. I sure do. Hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.